Okay, everybody. It's time for a Tisha on the two. Tisha, Tisha, Tisha on the two. Tisha, Tisha, Tisha on the two. Tisha, Tisha, Tisha on the two. I'm back for Mental Health Mondays. Hope everybody's weekend was amazeballs. Um, let's get into it. A topic that's like really, 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 uh, oops, wait, I'm trying to unplug this. A topic that's really, really swept under the rug, but it has major impact on children, especially bullying. Believe it or not, bullying is a mental health issue. Why? Because, ooh, People who are often, I don't know why I keep going in and out like that. People who are often bullied are people who are, people who are often the, like the, the bully are people, they are the ones that are being bullied or abused or something in their home. We all know that the saying is hurt people, hurt people. That's pretty much what bullying is definition of bullying intentional and general unprovoked attempts by one or more individuals to inflict hurt and or psychological distress on one or more victims so you'll hear a lot of people say that they were bullied as children that's where it starts and a lot of people who were who are parents of the bully you know a lot they they coddle the bully instead of you know, not to say all, but some, they coddle the bully, you know, they make excuses for them, say, you know, oh, they're just a child, they don't know any better, blah, blah, blah. The fact remains that bullying is the leading cause of a lot of these kids committing suicide at young ages, nine, not, let me, let me take it back further, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 13, any age. Kids are killing themselves because of cyberbullying, which cyberbullying is pretty much, you know, exposing people on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp, uh, Snapchat. What else? Just anywhere that's social media bullying that cyber bullying um regular bullying is just like in school in anywhere at their house anywhere so what i've noticed in a lot of situations where there's a bully and there's a person that's being bullied People don't take it serious, especially when it's brought up in school. For whatever reason, I don't know why. School, well, schools are taking it serious now. But when I was growing up, bullying, because I never got bullied. I got teased. I never got bullied. Teasing is all a part of, you know, growing up or whatever. But I never got bullied. But I've seen people torture people for no reason like make fun of people for no reason and I was always the kid who stuck up for the person or I befriended the person that was being bullied because I didn't think it was right that people made fun of people for being different or people made fun of people for how they looked how they dressed and whatnot and I won't lie I was a child you know I I was teased so I would tease people too to take the 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 take the shine off of me you know, but I never bullied anybody. To me, I feel like teasing is, you know, that's real kiddish. That's ha ha he he. And, you know, it's not as big of a deal as bullying. It is, but it's not. Because I feel like bullying is when you're constantly poking the person. Teasing a person is more like, not to say that it's any better, but teasing a person is pretty much talking about what they wear, how they look, you know, whatever, because... Like I said, me, I would only do it to take the light the, the light off of me because I was being teased. But that was my reason behind it. I don't know what everybody else's reason was for teasing me or whatever. But as I've grown up and I've, you know, 
studied psychology and how the brain works a lot of the times when people tease you or they make fun of you it's a reflection of themselves and it's because they don't have what you have they don't have the new sneaks that you got they don't have you know long hair like you have they is it's it's always it's a self-esteem thing and it's a thing where they're jealous of something that you have that they lack that's what i noticed with teasing is now bullying i feel like bullying is deeper bullying has something to do with something that's going on at home and a lot of people who are bullies are being abused at home so they have no power at home so they come to school where they feel like they have power over somebody because somebody in their household has power over them and they feel like okay well since i have no power at home i'm gonna go home i'm gonna go to school and i'm gonna take out my anger and frustration on the quietest kid in the school or the kid who i feel is the easy target hurt people hurt people so back then bullying was swept under the rug you know, kids were afraid to come home and tell their parents about them being bullied because they were afraid that, you know, oh, if I tell my parents, then they're going to jump me. They're still going to harass me, whatever, whatever. So it was pretty much a hush hush thing. Now you have actual kids killing themselves over bullying and cyberbullying. And because of that, there's been like this whole anti-bullying campaign worldwide, not just in schools, worldwide because they're trying to put an end to childhood suicide. So now, everywhere you go, any uh, educational institution, they'll let you know this is a bully-free zone. No bullying. So, and you know what's missing? And I think this is why bullying didn't get as bad when I was growing up. When I was a child, we used to have conflict resolution. They don't have that anymore. It's like conflict resolution was taken out of schools. We used to have conflict resolution all the time. And even though I didn't really care for it as a kid, as an adult, I appreciate it because conflict resolution helps you to say I feel statements, to express yourself without anger, to actually talk to the person, listen to understand and not listen to respond. So I noticed that they don't have that in schools anymore. I think they need to bring that back. And like me working in education, I've been working in education for like 14 years. I've been working with kids since I was 17. And each and every time I work in any type of childhood, like educational institution, I always use conflict resolution as a resolution for any any issue and I always even when I was like running my own groups and let's say I was a group leader or I was a counselor or something I would do conflict resolution like once a week once or twice a week so that the kids know you know how to express themselves I will also do like a uh, big circle ups and group meetings and stuff so that I'll know where the kids heads are at stuff like that and that's not in schools anymore I mean if it is I haven't heard about it but I remember conflict resolution was like a mandatory thing in schools I don't even know if they do that anymore I have to see but yeah like that needs to be put back in schools and just I feel like in every educational institution, it needs to be circle up time, like discuss with your kids, even in the household. You know, me, I always ask my kids, how was your day at school? How are you feeling? What's wrong? So that they're able to express themselves to me rather than feeling like, oh, well, I can't talk to anybody, so I have to keep it to myself and blah, blah, blah. No, I would never want my children to feel that way. So bullying, ways to prevent that, talk to your children. Talk to your children. Allow them to have voices. Children are little people. Yes, they get on our nerves, but they love us dearly. And they look to us, the adult, to guide them. And unfortunately, not every adult is equipped to guide a child but for those of us that are talk to your children talk to them get eye level with them and talk to them you'll be surprised 
you learn a lot from children even as an adult and that's what i discover daily i learned so much from my kids it's insane but you got to talk to these babies because a lot of them don't have an outlet and just to take five minutes to ask them how they're feeling and what's going on you could be preventing a lot so we got to talk to these babies and we have to do conflict conflict resolution needs to be brought back in schools most definitely because bullying it, it goes from it affects you from childhood to your adult life because a lot of people are walk that's why so many broken people are walking around now because they were like oh i was bullied as a kid so you know my relationship with people is just it's weird and you know i was made fun of and you know girls didn't like me they thought that i was weird they thought that i was awkward so i kind of got this shell of when i'm around other females i don't really vibe with them you know it your childhood years is your most fragile it really is and bullying is whew. i remember my son was getting bullied not bullied but he was getting teased by this kid at the program that i was working at actually and i had to not be a mother in that moment i had to be a counselor and that was hard because I feel like I wear my mother hat all the time. I have to 24 seven. I'm always a mother. But for me to not take it personal of what this little kid was saying and doing to my son, I had to like shut that off a little bit and I took it to my boss and I let them know, Hey, this little, this kid is doing this, that, and the third to my son. My son isn't doing anything, but I just want you to know that I advise my son that if anybody put their hands on him to hit them back. And this, matter of fact, it was like maybe two times a child tried to do something to my kid. And I spoke to the parent both times. I didn't even handle it. I didn't intervene. As a counselor, as an adult, you cannot approach a child. You have to approach the parent. So I always approach the parent. And let them know, listen, your child is doing X, Y, Z, A, B, C to my child. I'm bringing it to your attention now so that we can resolve it. Nine times out of ten, the parent is understanding. You'll probably get that, you know, one parent that's like, oh, you know, brushing it off or whatever, whatever. That's when I advise my child, if this person puts their hands on you, you let the teacher know. If the teacher does nothing, knock their head off their neck. Because what I'm not going to do is raise somebody who is, I don't want him to be fearful. I want him to be fearless, but I want him to also be kind, which he is. My son bothers nobody. He's all about having fun. He's all about laughing. And notice I say my son, because my son is the more sensitive one. My daughter I ain't got to worry about her. She don't take nobody's crap, okay? You put your hands on her, she hitting you right back. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. My son is the more sensitive one, and I'm trying to get him to be, like, in the same mind frame of his sister. But he's a little bit more sensitive, so I work with him. And I tell him, if anybody puts their hands on you, you let the teacher know. If the teacher does nothing, you have permission, all right, to knock them out and hit them harder than they hit you. Because when I get that call, oh, you know, your son, he did X, Y, Z, A, B, C. The first thing I'm going to ask is, well, what did this child do to my child? Because my child doesn't start problems. And I know this for facts. I raise him to not start with anybody. I raise him to be kind to everybody. So you have to do something to my kid for him to hit you or anything. So... To prevent bullying, there needs to be conflict resolution in school and at home. And also, parents, guardians, teachers, whomever, and adults, talk to these babies. Please, you be saving a lot of lives if you do so. So, that's all I really have to say about bullying. I don't want to drag it along for um 
longer than I need to. But you guys, you know, leave me some comments. Let me know how you feel. Um, I know a lot of people are against bullying. But let me know your thoughts on bullying. Uh, let me know your experiences. I'm open to hearing them. Please like, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Oh, bow. T-shirt on the two. T-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt on the two. T-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt on the two. T-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt on the two. Ooh. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. And I will see you tomorrow for the Empire premiere. Thank you so much for watching. Later.